What's up, everybody? I'm Jay Kidd, and this is Splash Bros Morning Show. Time to punch a bitch voice in the dick. So, I went down the rabbit hole yesterday, and been doing it a lot this morning, so this video is a little late. I have learned so much about just Greek mythology, Roman mythology, our government, secret societies, um, just pedophilia, all those little freaks in Hollywood, like, I have gone deep. But, that's not what I want my channel to be about. I don't want to be a conspiracy theorist. I don't feel like it really does much. I mean, it kind of helps. It helps in a way, but it kind of also gives you a bad look. And I'm not trying to be put on anybody's radar. So, if you'd like to learn what I learned, I can link you to everything. Just comment. I'll send you the links. It's it's a crazy. If if you don't have a strong mind, I would not suggest looking into it at all because it might fuck you up. Like it's pretty crazy. I've come to the point where I I look at all of this as a giant game and you can either spread negativity or you can spread positivity. So that's the way I'm going to play it. I'm planning on spreading as much positivity as I can. I plan on starting my city in 2025, at least begin the construction of the city, where everybody that works with me, they all get to find their passion, live their passion, do what they want. Their rent is included in their job. Everybody gets to live free. Uh, we got free child care, free schooling, free college. All of that is going to be in just one area. And my plan is to start that. We're going to build Hollywood style sets. I've been talking about this for years. It's just I finally put the plan together. Running a business without a five year plan or a business plan is one of the stupidest things I've ever done. So now that I have that, everything is starting to play out the way it should. And. The goal is to just start with the one town, build the Hollywood sets, build the schools, build everything that we need there, bring in companies like build a spot for Walmart, say, something like that. Probably not a corporation, all family owned business to where we're all just grouped together. I don't think we need any corporations. We can do our own coffee shops, we can do whatever. So I'm looking at a thousand plus acres in Southern Colorado. It's it's pretty far, but I also plan to set up a helicopter pad so that we can travel back and forth to Denver and not drive four hours. So I've got I've got a lot of plans in motion, and it'll happen. 100% it'll happen, especially now that I know how the game's played. And one thing I can talk about, because it's not really conspiracy, is vortex mathematics if you have not looked into vortex mathematics I highly suggest it Nikola Tesla's brainchild well not really his brainchild just something he figured out and he put on paper and a lot of the stuff like if you look into a lot of the stuff with Nikola Tesla it's insane like a lot of people don't know that him and President Trump's uncle work together President Trump's uncle took over for Tesla when he died in the a couple secret missions, Phoenix, Philadelphia. If you look them up, the Philadelphia Project, Phoenix Project, things like that. So there's just a lot of stuff that I have learned. I'm, very, I'm trying to be very careful with my words. A lot of stuff that I have learned that I don't want to talk about but some stuff that I do so the vortex mathematics I highly suggest looking into it anything else that you want to know let me know the the shit I learned about the UN all of that just it's it's pretty crazy it's pretty crazy but let's get past all that as you can see I have spent way too long in the rabbit hole now I'm back with you beautiful people so let me know what you guys got going on today it is Saturday this video is going to be up probably, shit, I think it's like 7.30 already. I've been I've been going hard since 3.30. <laughs> God, it's addicting. 
once you get trapped in it, you're, you're just stuck. It just keeps going and going. But let me know what you guys got going on today. I have got to... Oh, I get my son today. I've, a lot of people don't know, but I split custody with my son. I get 50% of the time. His mom gets 50% of the time. So I get him today. It's the start of my week. And I'm, I'm extremely excited. We're going to put together a bunch of content, have fun, just enjoy our time together. He starts his, his uh, online schooling on Tuesday, which I am super excited about. I am so fucking happy. I've been trying to homeschool him for so long, but his mom wouldn't let it. So I'm excited about that. I taught him how to crack and scramble eggs the other day. I'm going to teach him how to cook. I'm going to teach him how to do business. He's already, like, he freestyle raps. We're driving, and he's all, Dad, can you put on one of those songs with no words, and, and we can make up songs again? So I put on some beats, and he was just flowing. Oh, my God, it was so darn cute. So darn cute. Like, he was actually rapping, and we don't even listen to rap. It's all from FGTV. So he raps, he directs, he, he dances, he likes to sing. He is a beast. He games like an adult. Like, he's so awesome. He's so awesome. So I'm super excited to get him here and put together some more content. Hopefully you guys are enjoying your time with your family. It's It's been long needed for a lot of us. Like, a lot of people work way too much to the point that they don't even know what to do right now. They're, they're home with their kids and for some reason they, they don't like it. That's that's something that I've never understood. Same with summer. Like, parents all, God damn it, it's summer. I can't wait for my kids to go back to school. And I'm like, fuck. They got to go back to school. Damn it. Like, I hate it. I love my son so damn much. And I want to be the one to teach him. Like, the school system is such a joke. Such a joke. Trying to treat everybody, every individual soul as if they're the exact same is just ridiculous. So, that's one thing I plan to change with the city. We're going to be all natural energy, all that good stuff. It's going to be great. Hopefully, not hopefully. Got See, got to work that word out. We will work with some hemp companies, get some hemp creek going, get some hemp plastics, get hemp fuel, everything going. Just have it just be a mecca that other cities look at us like, what the fuck are we doing? Like, that's what we could be doing. Clean energy, clean fuel, no no bullshit. They're all living their dream. They're all making good money. Their kids are going to school, getting taught the right way. Like, they got free college. What the fuck are we doing? So that's my plan. I plan to make billions and trillions of dollars, but I don't plan to keep billions and trillions of dollars. Because I don't, I don't give a shit about money. The only reason I want money is because I struggled for so long. And I'm so tired of watching others struggle the same. So, that'll be the goal. Make trillions. Give it away. Live comfortably with everybody. Like, have fun. Change the planet. Enjoy life. Live our... Live the reason... Wait. Live life like we're supposed to. I'm trying to think of something cool to say, but I couldn't. So... That's good. Stumbled up like a jackass. But hey, that's what we do here. <laughs> we just live. We're not we're not faking shit. We're not we're just living life, enjoying life, trying to change the world, trying to make friends, trying to spread love, trying to spread positivity, trying to enjoy what little time we have here. So if I slip up, if I mess up, if I come off fat if you can't tell, that's one of my biggest things is I think I'm fat. So if I come off ugly, anything like that, like, that's life. One of the hardest parts about growing right now is trying to get rid of the remaining little bit of ego that I have left. So the more I can make myself look stupid on camera and the more I continue to do it, the, the less and less that ego runs shit. So... You're going to see a lot more of me in a lot of insecure positions. I'm going to do another fit. I'm going to do the next episode of Get Fit Fat Kid shirtless, which will be very shitty for me. 
And when I go to post it, I am going to hate myself. And it's going to make me very sad. So, we're going to do it. I'm working on trying to not look at the mirror so much. I have a lot of people think that I do it because I think I'm so hot, but I do it because the exact opposite, and I like see the flaws, so I'm, I'm constantly trying to reassure myself. So I gotta stop doing that. Um, just, just anything I can do to drop that ego. Just live life without the, the constant worry about what other people think. Because I don't give a shit. Unless you're gonna fight me, say what you want. I don't care. And think what you want. Like, if you want to fight, I am 100% willing. Win or lose, let's just have fun. Let's bang it out. Fucking do it. Um, if not, talk all the shit you want. Whatever, if it makes you feel better, more power to you. Whatever you need to make yourself feel good about yourself, then I will be the fall guy. That's fine. Talk all the shit you want to me. Comment. Say whatever you need to say. Get it out. Troll your little heart out. Live life to the fullest if that's your goal. But, like, I don't care. That's the whole point. I'm going to keep doing this shit. Keep putting myself in positions that I do not like. Because the more I do it, the easier it gets. I didn't want to do this video today. I don't know why. It might be the route that I went too deep. And I was like, well, there's no fucking point. But there is. Got to spread positivity. Got to spread the love. So... I just gotta, I've gotta keep fighting, you should keep fighting, push towards your dream, when that little voice tells you, man, let's just do it tomorrow, just fucking do it, just do it, when you get angry about something, because you have to do something, just do it, don't allow yourself to be angry over a set period of time when you could just do something, like, I had to pull all of my desks out and shit like that to get into the closet here, and... At first, I was like, fuck, that's stupid. I don't want to pull this shit out. And then I was like, bro, just shut the fuck up. Pull this shit out, get the shit, and get it done with. It was done in like three seconds. But I could have let that three seconds go on for hours. Man, I'm not doing that shit. Fuck, I still got to do that shit. God damn it, I don't want to do that shit. Oh, fuck, I guess I better do it. Like, that shit. Instead of, I avoided all of that, which was thanks to the rabbit hole that I, like... I avoided all of that because I didn't want to put that negative energy into the air. So I shut it down. I said, you know what? Let's just do it. Fuck it. Pulled everything out. Jumped back there. Got the shit out. Pushed it all back. Fucking three seconds, it was done. I saved myself hours of misery just by doing it. Just by shutting up, fucking gritting my teeth, and getting it done. So that's what a lot of people have issues with. We put things off. We're like, nah, we'll just do it tomorrow. You know what? I'll start that tomorrow. Let me One last piece of cake, and then I'll start tomorrow because I might as well eat this cake. Or I'm going to stop eating sugar tomorrow, so I might as well just keep just put as much in my body as I can. Or I'm going to start eating healthy tomorrow, so I better eat like shit for the rest of the day so that I, I get one last day. And I'm speaking from personal experience. Like, I don't know what any of you guys do. I'm speaking all from personal experience. Like, I'm going to start eating healthy tomorrow as I stuff cake and fucking candy and drink sugary-ass coffee. And, like, yep, tomorrow's going to be the day. And tomorrow's tomorrow. So, tomorrow will always be tomorrow. Well, tomorrow. Oh, well, I made it to today, but tomorrow I'm going to do it. So I just started saying, fuck it. Just do it. That's one way I've been battling the ADHD. I learned, I went from thinking it was a problem because you're constantly like, oh, I gotta go do this. So you'll be in the middle of something, you're like, oh shit, better go do this, better go do this, better go do this. And at first I would try to fight it. I'm like, no, I gotta stay focused. I gotta, I gotta get this done. And now I just go with it. Like, I'll be working here. Oh shit, I better go do this. Go do that. Oh shit, I better go do this. Go do that. Oh shit. And I'll just start knocking them out and then I end up right back here. Just got a bunch of shit accomplished and now I'm back to work. Instead of sitting here being like, nah, I've got to focus. Fuck. And then nothing gets done because you're constantly fighting that, that voice. Like, nah, let's go do this. Nah, man, this sucks. Like, know yourself. Know your body. Know your mind. Strengthen it. Just 
learn how you react to situations. That's the best thing I can suggest. Learn how you react and then try to counteract it. Learn why you react like that. Like, that's one thing that I've been doing as well. Like, I would freak out over some of the dumbest shit. And, like, I would lose my temper, I'd fucking punch shit, I'd get all crazy. I was a fucking psychopath, like a real piece of shit. Real piece of shit. Like, and then I started looking inward. Wondering why why do I react to certain things the way I do? Why when someone raises their voice do I lose my shit? Why when someone doesn't listen do I get so mad? Why when I'm interrupted like things like that I had to figure out. Like what happened in my past that made me act like this? Because that's usually what it is. When we were kids something fucked with us. Something fucked our little minds up and we held on to it for years and years and years. And it just manifests into this fucking bullshit. So, figure out what what's going on with yourself. Figure out why you do things. Push yourself to be better. Um, if I can help, I'm more than willing. Like I said, I want to start a community. I want to get everyone living their dream. Let's change this planet. I've got to get my son. I might work on some more pictures. I don't know exactly. When he's here, I think we're just going to do content. Just create content. Enjoy our time together. Have fun. So, that's the plan. I will see you guys on Monday. I do not work on Sundays. And now that I do this the day of, I definitely won't be recording tomorrow. I might use tomorrow to, to get a day ahead so that my videos aren't so late. Because I've been doing day of. And then I'll jump in, start working on something else, and I'll forget that I haven't edited the video yet. And I'll be like, oh, fuck. And I'll like start editing real quick, throw it all together, throw it up. So I might just do one tomorrow, edit it, get it ready, and then be a day ahead. I kind of like it this way, though, because we actually, we're actually speaking on the day I'm recording. So I don't have to like lie and be like, oh, what am I doing today when it's really the next day but that's the plan hope you guys all have a good weekend enjoy your time with your family if you want to learn about all the crazy shit that i learned about and you're into that shit let me know because i would be glad to share it i'm just not gonna be the the guy on camera sharing it but i'm more than happy to help everyone else see a different side of things so let me know, comment below, hit that like button, hit subscribe, help us get to a thousand followers, subscribers, we're going to hit a million, you know, one day, so help us out, hit that like button for sure, let's get to 20 likes, I know we can do it, it might take some time with the way viewers are starting to trickle in, but I know we can do it, let's get to 20 likes, I love you guys, I'm J Kid. let's spread some positivity.